in my generation, as you are now putting us into generations, <laughs> people were just doing Western theology uh, and uh, following whatever Western theological issues were in the air. At one time when I was just plunging into my studies, my theological dissertation in the 1960s, there was a lot of talk about the death of God. Mm -hmm. That was the issue in Western theology. There was a, the theme of death and dying, mm -hmm. again, major issues which we have been discussed almost everywhere. Now, <coughs> and my dissertation was in some ways a departure from the theological uh, issues which people were pursuing, mm -hmm. my generation, African, and uh, well, there were not many other African, Africans doing theology, but generation of those who were studying with me mm -hmm. and doing research. They were doing things like uh, heretics of the third century mm -hmm. Christianity. And uh, <laughs> this kind of issues, uh, which for me as an African, I thought, well, I'm not interested. I, mm -hmm. I didn't have any particular reason to have to spend three years of my doctoral studies just doing work on uh, on these uh, early church fathers or, or, or Reformation mm -hmm. people, Luther, Calvin, and so on. I didn't feel those were contem contemporary issues for me. Mm -hmm. So I ventured, I moved uh, bit away and I was not so sure that that was correct. But anyway, my professor, <coughs> um, Professor Charlie Moore at Cambridge, accepted that as a, a way of doing theology mm -hmm. and uh, agreed, you know, agreed to supervise me mm -hmm. because I, I based that on the New Testament. Basically, my research was on the New Testament eschatology. Okay. So it was <clears throat> in his field and so on. But I wanted to relate that to the to African background of my people, Akamba. Mm -hmm. So he, he accepted that and I was very pleased, encouraged me to go ahead and, and uh, even asked one of his colleagues at the university to, well, give me some uh, working help or conversation on the more what he saw as the anthropological side. This man was uh, an anthropologist, he taught anthropology at Cambridge. And so I consulted him maybe two three times to yeah, just clear up some questions. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, <clears throat> I just based specifically on the Bible, mm -hmm. New Testament, and the theme of eschatology. <clears throat> I went to teach at Makerere in 1964. Okay. And 1966, there was a conference of African theologians, the first conference of African theologians. 1966? 1966. Okay. And there were 10 of us. Really? Wow. <laughs> that was so then. There was at that time. Wow. Okay. And <clears throat> people like Professor Ito Wu and but, um, Crazy Dixon okay. and, and others, and we met and 
discussed a theme which would not have been Western theme there completely. It was biblical revelation and African beliefs. Okay. So there we launched into looking at Africa from a theological point of view. And Africa not just ordinary on economics or politics, but the, the thought of Africa, the religion of Africa. Because we, we felt Africa was, was not just a vacuum religious when missionaries came to us. There was something before that. And so we looked at that. We considered questions like, themes like God, um, spirits, and uh, communion, community, mm -hmm. and, and so on. <clears throat> so this then also occurred concurrently with the establishment in some African universities, the establishment of the study of that time, and they only called it African traditional religion, okay. in departments of, of uh, religion. <coughs> okay. Some universities in West, well, Ibadan, University of uh, Sierra Leone, Makerere, Eastern Africa, and uh, Kinshasa. Oh. Uh, also. <coughs> When I was in appointed, I, I had just finished my doctorate at Cambridge and I was appointed to go and teach at Makerere University. Mm -hmm. I got there and I was taught to teach African, they call it African traditional religion. I didn't know what that meant. That's right. Because nobody ever had ever said one word in all my university studies, <laughs> nobody ever said anything about African traditional religion. I'd never read a book about it. <clears throat> so, okay. I had to start from scratch. I looked around, I saw the, the one book that I saw the first time was uh, book by Geoffrey Parinder. Mm -hmm. It was even given that title, African Traditional Religion. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that was sort of my basis for teaching. But then as I read that book and tried to use it, I got uh, really not satisfied. Yes, I said, well, this is just the the old kind of missionary anthropological mm -hmm. approach where Africa is sort of considered to have no religion for one thing, mm -hmm. or only primitive religion, and mm -hmm. all these theories about religion were being imposed on us. So I said, well, I will do research. Okay. And I started then <coughs> doing well, what they would, they would call field research. Okay. I would go with some interpreters, students, interpreters, to villages and meet some of the old people. Go and attend, uh, uh, well, these sessions by the, the people called witch doctors, mm -hmm. which for me, I rejected that title. Mm -hmm. I said, these are cleverly educated people who care about the health mm -hmm. of the human society. That's right. And they don't just do it in a way of guesswork. Okay. I continued my research and noticed they 
to a training. Training about the, the trees, yes. the material that one would use, yes. uh, how to mix the material, and so on. And they had also rituals, some would say prayers, mm -hmm. or say words in the in administering. Yes. And I discovered so, there is something here. West Africa, Professor Itobu mm -hmm. had also done research on the concept of God in, among the Yoruba. Okay. He wrote a book, Olodumare, um, Olodumare, God in um, Yoruba concepts. Okay. <clears throat> and um, in West in the Congo, there was what's his name? Anyway, he was also doing that kind. He was a, a Catholic priest okay. and uh, doing research in also a teaching. Okay. So um, I in East Africa, mm -hmm. Edowo, West Africa, yeah. um, is um, in the Congo mm -hmm. and Harry Sawyer in um, Sierra Leone. Okay. So we we are kind of the starters okay. of moving into exploring African religious heritage right. and looking at it theologically, okay. bringing into contact with Christian thought and naturally, well, I did more of the Bible. Yes, mm -hmm. I and Quasi Dixon um, did more of the Bible side. Okay. Yes, Quasi Dixon was from Ghana. Okay. So that's how we started. Okay. I remember one Archbishop, mm -hmm. I will not say where. <laughs> I don't want that to be taken against him. No, that's right. <clears throat> he opposed what I was doing at my okay. what I was teaching. Okay. Because I was taught to teach this African uh, as well as my teaching um, New Testament theology and so on. And he said, I was bringing back the devil into the church by teaching this <laughs> African religion. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and naturally, he was very much against the whole, the whole thing. Okay. Anyway, uh, we, we survived. Now I see a move, very dynamic move in this direction of really exploring our African religious heritage and bringing it into contact with the Christian thought. Right. If you, I mean, there are people who are doing it without being Christian, but anyway, we are talking about Christian theology. Theologians. And a lot of <clears throat> some of the dissertations that I have had to examine in the last 10 years or so have all gone in that direction, bringing in the African side mm -hmm. and trying to in interpret the scriptures like. Um, One, one dissertation I, I examined two, three years ago or two years ago in South Africa mm -hmm. was on, on the biblical concept of covenant oh, really? against um, an African traditional set, setting. Yes. See. Wow. 
So he analyzed mm -hmm. the biblical side mm -hmm. and the um, African language side. Oh. And that is only one example of many similar dissertations mm -hmm. 